A warm greetings to one and all. In this session, let's learn about Bayesian linear regression. As a part of introduction, Bayesian linear regression is built on statistics with combination of linear regression and probability theory. It uses Bayesian inference to update beliefs about the model parameter. It assigns probability distributions to parameters instead of fixed values. It handles uncertainty by treating parameters as distribution and it incorporates prior knowledge and improves interpretability in machine learning model. In Bayesian linear regression, prior represents the prior knowledge or belief about model parameters. Next, likelihood. It comes from the data and shows how well different parameter values explains the observation. Next, posterior. It combines prior plus likelihood using the Bayes theorem, giving the updated knowledge of parameters with uncertainty captured as distribution. In prediction, it uses the posterior distribution of parameters to make predictions which are more interpretable and uncertainty aware compared to standard regression. Now let's learn about the difference between linear regression and Bayesian linear regression with respect to various aspects. The first aspect is parameters. In linear reg regression, it is fixed point estimates based on beta, whereas in Bayesian linear regression, it is probability distributions over parameters. The next aspect is uncertainty. In linear regression, it is an error term epsilon, whereas in Bayesian linear regression, it is explicitly model parameters with prediction uncertainty. Prior knowledge is not included in linear regression, whereas it is incorporated through prior in Bayesian linear regression. Next, with respect to output, linear regression has a single best fit line, whereas Bayesian linear regression has distribution of possible lines with credible intervals. With respect to interpretation, linear regression is deterministic, whereas Bayesian linear regression is probabilistic, uncertainty aware. Let's consider the linear regression setup with goal as predicting an outcome y based on the input x. The model which we consider is y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon, where beta naught is intercept and beta 1 is slope, that is effect of x on y. Where epsilon is an error term, that is epsilon is distributed as normal distribution with mean value 0 and variance sigma square. This is same as classical linear regression, but Bayesian inference changes how we estimate the parameters. In Bayesian approach, instead of finding just a single best value of beta naught and beta 1, it finds the distribution of possible values for them. Yes, the key idea is the posterior distribution is proportional to likelihood times of the prior. Where prior is what we believe about the parameters before seeing the data, likelihood is how probable the observed data is given the parameters. Posterior is updated belief about the parameters after seeing the data. So, linear regression gives point estimates of parameter while Bayesian regression gives distributions over parameter capturing the uncertainty. Now, let's check out the model specification for Bayesian linear regression. For likelihood, each observation follows yi is approximately equivalent to normal distribution of beta naught plus beta 1 xi comma sigma square. This is the likelihood function which represents the probability of data given parameters. Next in prior distribution we assign distributions to parameters before seeing the data. That is beta naught is approximately equivalent to Normal distribution of mu naught comma sigma naught square comma beta 1 is approximately equivalent to normal distribution of mu 1 comma sigma 1 square. So these encode our initial belief about the intercept beta naught and the slope beta 1. 
Next, for posterior distribution, it uses Bayes' theorem. That is, probability of beta naught comma beta one given data is directly proportional to probability of data given beta naught comma beta one into probability of beta naught into probability of beta one. Posterior combines both prior knowledge and data evidence. Posterior is directly proportional to likelihood into prior. This implies that Gaussian prior with Gaussian likelihood gives posterior is also Gaussian, that is the closed form. Posterior is usually computed with MCMC -MC method, that is Marco chain Monte Carlo methods. Finally, prediction for a new input x is calculated by y star is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution of beta naught plus beta 1 x star, comma, sigma predictive square where sigma predictive square is equivalent to sigma square plus x star t vn into x star. Here, sigma predictive square represents the total uncertainty when predicting y for a new input x. Sigma square represents the noise variance, that is uncertainty from the random error epsilon x star represents the new input vector where we want a prediction vn represents the posterior covariance matrix of the parameter beta after seeing the data as a whole x bar t vn x star represents the model uncertainty contribution showing how uncertain we are about the regression phase the posterior accounts for both prior belief and observed data. It also uses the posterior means of beta naught and beta 1 of parameters. In other words, the posterior variance is equivalent to data noise plus parameter uncertainty. As a conclusion, classical regression gives single estimates of slope and intercept, whereas Bayesian regression leaves the distributions over slope and intercept. Yes, this allows us to capture uncertainty and use prior knowledge. Prediction includes both data noise and parameter uncertainty. Using Bayesian linear regression, let's consider a problem. That is, suppose we observe a relationship between study hours x and test scores y for three students, which is given in the table as if steady R is 1, the score secured is 2. If steady R is 2, the score secured is 4. If steady R is 3, and the score secured is 5. So we need to fit a Bayesian linear regression model, that is, y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon, and epsilon is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution with mean 0 and sigma square variance. We need to predict the score for a student who studied 4 hours. Now let's check out the solution. The first step is finding the likelihood. The formula which we use here is yi is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution of beta naught plus beta 1 xi comma sigma square. The next step too is prior distribution. Now let's assume weak priors that is not too strong beliefs before the data. So Beta naught is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution of 0, 10 square, comma, beta 1 is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution of 0, 10 square. This means that we think the intercept beta naught and the slope beta 1 are around 0, but with a large uncertainty. In step 3, it is posterior, that is conceptual. Posterior always combines a likelihood that is data evidence with prior. Since prior is likelihood or Gaussian, it provides the posterior for beta naught beta 1 is also Gaussian. In step 4, we are going for prediction. So to predict the score for student who studied 4 us, that is x star value was 4 which is given in our problem. So, the formula which we use to predict is y star is approximately equivalent to the normal distribution of beta naught plus beta 1 into x value, that is the input value 4 into sigma predictive square. So, if 
posterior means are beta naught is equal to 1 and beta 1 is equal to 1.2 is considered. Then predicted mean score that is y star is equal to 1 plus 1.2 into 4 which is equal to 5.8. With the predictive variance includes bone, noise and parameter uncertainty. Now let's explore the graph for our problem. Here on x-axis we have study hours and on y-axis we have test scores. The blue color cross represents the observed data which we have given in the table. The red color line is the prediction which is the posterior mean of the regression model. The shaded red region shows the uncertainty band around the prediction. The purple dot at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 represents the intercept beta naught is equal to 1. The slope of the line is that is beta 1 is equal to 1.2 meaning that for each addition study hour the test score increases by about 1.2 units. At x is equal to 4 the model predicts a score of around 5.8 which is given in the green color star here in the graph. Yes, this shows how Bayesian regression not only fits a line but also provides uncertainty estimates for prediction. Bayesian regression gives a distribution over slope and intercept. Yes, hope you are clear on Bayesian regression with this example problem. Thank you all.